So, Fuchi, Fuchi Pedro. Um, tell us one or two things. Like, I like to be a TED fellow, right? But I want to know if, like, I have to pay <laughs> or if I will be paid. Right? What, what, what led you into that, please? See, the, their story encompasses a lot of what is really great about TED. The use of technology, how their story went viral via social media. I'm going to skip some speakers. Not everybody's talk resonated with me. And it's true. I mean, while you're there, you're listening to a lot of people speak. There's a people that you can connect to, and some people you can't connect to. It's allowed. I mean, even when you're willing to listen to me right now, so you can connect to me, some of you can't. It's fine. I can deal. Who has heard of dream catchers? Guess what? I have never heard this individual until now. Become a retweeted them. So, dream catchers is basically this particular young lady and what she's doing with a lot of kids out there. So. There was something William Muchemba did a while back. He said, be the ass to someone else's prayer. If you don't know William Muchemba, I'm sure you're probably seeing his handle right now on my screen, or on your screen basically, on my channel, your screen. But he was basically talking about how you should be the ass to someone else's prayers. So he said, if I'm praying for God to give me a 50 million dollar contract right now, there's someone else out there whose prayer is that, that 4,000 naira that you have, he needs it. So he walked up to the street and he saw someone who was fucking plantains, basically. I said, you know what? How much is all these plantains? And the person said, 4,000 naira. He said, when you left your house this morning, was it your prayers that you sell this entire bunch? And the guy said, yes, it's his prayers. He said, you know what? Take. He got that 4,000 naira and gave the individual. Counted an extra 4,000 naira and gave the guy again and said, you know what? Just use this one and basically get yourself new clothes, new shoes, and stuff like that. He now gave the guy a charge. He said, go to people who are begging on the streets and take all these your plantings and give to them and that was an amazing lesson he answered the young man's prayers and gave the young man the opportunity to answer some other poor people's prayers and that, that's what he's talking about you know what while you're waiting on God to give you something God is going to use people okay and most people who do things for you are people who are better off than you are but guess what you are equally better off than some other people so what are you doing to better their own lives and that's what this young lady did so she had lived an impoverished life all her life. Things were had basically, her parents moved to a different neighborhood and she realized that, you know what, in this neighborhood there were children who were living in abject poverty, who didn't even know education. She said a couple of these kids didn't even know how to read or write. A lot of them didn't even speak English. Huge problem. And she came up with the Dream Cultures Dance Academy. I have been teaching these people how to dance and basically guys that have a lot of dance clip, you're gonna watch a couple of them but if you wanna see the full thing, you need to get on TEDx Lagos website I can tell you guys that go and check it out but I wanna show you a few clips of these amazing children doing amazing things and first of all, they were doing all what they were doing and she was just praying to be like, God help us out here you know, we're doing this, it's not enough but we need to keep on pushing and all of a sudden now, the camera is retweeting them and the next thing, Didi is retweeting them and Rihanna is retweeting them and before they knew it, that the camera was in their home talking to them, it's just so amazing, so heartfelt. Be a change maker. Understand that you are the answer to someone else's prayers, even when you're waiting on God to do something for you. So, guys, take a look at a couple of these clips. But, like I said, just a few clips. You need to see more. Go on to the next Lagos website. Like, this is amazing dance steps. Like, these kids could do crazy things. What about that young boy that took off his shirt? Oh my gosh. What was that? Oh, what are they doing with their belly? This is their shaku shaku, it was mad. Young, young kids, though. Like, I was so excited with what I saw that day. I actually wish I could talk to them afterwards, but they were too busy having some other conversation with other people. And I just won't draw, you know. I think what I have in mind is to, for the now, partner with people like this. So, it's a dance academy here, but in your little space, you have opportunities around you. you have modelers babies homes you have old men or old people homes that's what it's called people who are in need people who need what you have yeah i'm not saying you have everything even i don't even have everything but guys with what you have you can actually provide something for these individuals basically and help yourself guys just be the blessing to someone else and i'm pretty sure that god is going to reward you that's all i have to say guys about dream catchers amazing See more, see more of those dance videos really guys, but I'm not going to give you guys a lot of them because we're going to check out TEDxLagos website, it's really.